So in this video today, I will be fitting the iFlash Jewel and my new 512 gigabyte Kingston and a PNY 256 gigabyte U3 card. Okay, let's start. So they're going into this iPod which currently has a, a one terabyte M SATA drive using using my iFlash SATA board. So we'll get this open and we'll get the iFlash jewel fitted. So finding a seam. iFlash SATA with the one terabyte installed so we removed that so that's been in there for the last four months or so this is my test iPod okay and we get the jewel so here's the jewel first as this is a slim back iPod will fit a single foam pad on the back Okay, lift this up and let's install the cards. So I tend to advise that the fastest card goes into the slot SD1. That's the 256 gigabyte PNY. The slower card, which is a Kingston, which is a um, UHSI class 1 card, goes into SD slot 2. Okay, so turn it over. Now we can uh, slide the ZIF connector in, lock it down. That looks like it's at home. Okay. Lift the battery connector up carefully. Set the battery connection in. Push it down. Just check that the iPod powers up. And it's asking to be restored. Okay, so we can clip this shut. So the iPod is ready to be restored. So let's get my uh, USB lead. Plug it in. And that's it. It's connected to the computer. As you can see, uh, iTunes is requesting to restore this iPod. So let's restore it. The iPod is now restored. I get to name it. Let's just call it iPod. Uh, restore took about four minutes and as we can see the iPod now has uh, 705 gigabytes of available storage and now it will sync my library I'll probably leave this running overnight it'll take several hours for it to, to do the initial sync then um, we'll revisit it in the morning. So the iPod has finished syncing and uh, it's been ejected from the computer. And there it is.
Thanks for watching.